What's going on everybody? Jimmy here. And I'm gonna have a quick little chat with you guys about well I guess the truck and show you my uh new little streamer setup. It's not new, it's just kinda like reorganized or whatever. So first off, we got a little Jane Jane right in front of me. She posing for the camera. <laughs> we got babes over here. Whose birthday was yesterday, so make sure y'all say happy birthday in the chat. Or in the comment section, sorry. Anyway though, so to talk about I guess my my channel, this channel is bridge is just for whatever, right? Truck stuff and you know, a couple games here and there. But so a lot of you guys are here for trucks and just I guess support. But uh it's still winter outside, still cold, so can't get started on a truck yet because we're just in a you know basic um home garage, you know, not heated or anything, so too cold to work in it. Um, when it gets warmer, though, I do have like the full bed. I got the full bed finally here. The front panel, the sides, wheel tubs, uh, the tailgate. And then we're going to actually make the wood bed. So that'll be a pretty interesting uh, video, I guess. The truck's actually outside right now, so I'll show you guys outside. I do drive the truck in the snow because... I want to enjoy my vehicle, my classic, not just let it sit for five, six months and then not drive it, but yeah, so it's still snowy out there and it's still cold. I need to get a nice little like thing to hold this for vlogging, I guess, or whatever, but I'll show you the set my side. Uh, it's a little, I'll show you the whole thing. It's a little messy right now, but uh, yeah, some people don't believe we have a 16 foot desk, so. Boom. That's a 16 foot desk. And that's our little streaming setup. But I'll show you my side. So originally my side, I, had a, I was a two PC setup and I went back to one. So let's get started on talking about the PC. All this stuff will be linked down below, uh, the information about it, but it's a Single PC setup. We got a Ryzen 9 5900X, and that's me as graphics card 2080 Super. Just using it temporarily till I get a 3080 Ti myself. And I wanted to try air cooling versus you know their water cooling because I'm kind of getting away from RGB. Like I had those lights in there, but I want to take them out. Like I took out mostly all the all GB, RGB. I got rid of RGB fans. Got just some Thermaltake Noctua copies because they're black, but. This PC is like quiet. It is so quiet and it's nice. I have it mounted on a shelf and this shelf is solid. You know, those are nice aluminum brackets or steel brackets back there. And the wiring is, uh, you know, not bad. I thought it looked kind of stupid because, you know, this is the backside wire of the PC. But I have them ran kind of behind the shelf and down below and then inside the desk. So if you didn't know, I'm not gonna, I can't, I don't wanna lift it up, but this lifts up and there's a nice compartment back there full of all our wires. So moving now, I got a new monitor. This is the MSI 1440p monitor. Again, stuff will be in the description. I switched back to 1440p. I got it no longer at 1080p, 240 hertz. This is the MSI 27 inch 1080p monitor at 144 hertz. So 1440p, 144, 1080p, 144, they're both 27 inches. This monitor is just my old BenQ monitor in portrait mode. This is for my chat and for my notifications, but I'll show you something about that in a second. This is my face cam, which is actually mounted to the wall versus on the, that used to be in the back of my monitor. And I can lift this up and move it around. I'll, I'll show you how a previously recorded attempt of this. I'll show that to you, but I don't wanna, I just don't wanna lose the position. Oh, well, and I moved my monitor a little bit. Had it in a nice position, but yeah, really move it. This is my hand cam. It is mounted on the back of my monitor mount. This is my wrist or my arm sleeve. So my chrome doesn't really work for this little camera. It just makes like steady popping noise. That's a cool, cool uh, uh, coaster is what it was really supposed to be, I think. But Mia made that for me and that's actually my logo. She machined that out of stainless steel. Some drywall back there, but we got my mouse charger. This is a wireless phone charger, and I actually really like it. Works nicely. I got my speakers right there. For I got speakers all four corners of the room. I got my stream deck. 
I got my uh, Behringer little audio interface back there for the microphones and then this is my uh, amplifier for my headset and this is actually a computer right here so this is a really small computer it's like the size of a shoebox there's a little mouse there for reference but that is actually hooked up to this monitor so I kind of have a ghetto 2 PC setup because that second PC kind of lets me um, like check out what I have my my twitch chat open on that and then I have my notifications open on that so I can you know reach over and you know ban somebody or type something without having to minimize my main monitor and I got my microphone up here again it's mounted to the wall I gotta paint that a little later but right at uh, face level and then this stand is really nice but I would not recommend it if you have a lightweight microphone because I just I can't get it tight enough and I actually broke it so and right now I have it pretty ghetto rigged to have it perfectly in my mouth level but it's working alright but it's nice because it swings up out of the way when I'm done and this keyboard actually works on both my computers just press the button goes to one computer press this button goes to the other computer so that's nice about it although I so saw I love this keyboard and I hate it because I hate these keycaps there's no easy keycap replacement they were worn out within like a month of playing wrist rest definitely recommend this for your keyboard basically if you're gaming and you don't have a wrist rest your wrist is slightly angled like this which is over time uncomfortable in your wrist and it's much more comfortable to have your wrist in line your joints in line so quick little test is honestly just put something beneath your wrist while you're on your keyboard like your phone or something and try and get your wrist in line with your keyboard and it'll uh it should feel a lot better i got my uh logitech g pro ultra light right here with some a uh, little bit of mini mods on it i got some pistol grip tape i'm gonna focus this is pistol grip tape this is just so carbon fiber stickers up on the side but that's actually like a piece of grip tape because i don't like how thin this mouse is so that actually helps out a little bit and then i got some core pad hyper glides or whatever on the bottom and an artisan Heian mouse pad and honestly like I used to have a really uncontrolled setup I had ceramic mouse feet and a hard mouse pad and that was just crazy slick and fast but it was a beast to control if you could tame it it was good but it was it was hard to tame so this is a lot more control and honestly like I feel like my aim has just drastically increased switching to this so so that's the new kind of setup I am gaming recording and streaming on one PC now versus two and honestly, I, two PC definitely is still the way to go. It's just there's going to be technical issues you have to be able to, you know, fix and be aware of. Um, and I just got tired of I just got tired of fixing that. Honestly, I would always uh, have audio issues. Honestly, I had I had two capture cards on my old computer, and like they were starting to mess up on me. Like Mia's would always freeze her computer. And then mine would sometimes just, I have to like restart the computer two or three times to get it to work. And also editing and streaming. Um, so I would, I would stream and record on the second PC. And after I'm done gaming, I'd have like an eight hour recording that's like 300 gigabytes. And if I want to edit that, I'd have to edit it on my stream PC, which is not a big deal. But my game PC was a lot more powerful and nicer to edit on because I had game clips on there that I want to use for editing too. So I would have to transfer the game clips from the game PC to the stream PC and then... Um, if I wanted to edit on my game PC, I have to transfer the eight hour footage, cut it somehow. So there's, there's kind of, you know, these are probably more personal problems that I've kind of just decided to, you know, almost like downgrade. But honestly with hardware these days, that's so good. Like I, I don't feel a difference. Like my computer feels, gaming feels good. And honestly, like if this was a problem a while ago, why it made me switch, and this might be a problem with you guys too, if, especially if you're gaming and streaming on one setup, or if you, you don't even have to be streaming. If you have two monitors, when one monitor at 144 hertz and your other monitor at 60 hertz, if you have anything animating on that 60 hertz monitor, YouTube video, you're watching someone's Twitch, your OBS screen preview, even though your main monitor is in 144 hertz and you're getting 144 plus frames, everything is in 60 hertz. Doesn't matter, and you can honestly, you could tell this if you just go ahead and like turn your monitor, your second monitor off, or just you know pause everything playing. Don't let anything animate on the second monitor, and your game PC will be like, like it'll be perfect. It'll be flawless. You won't feel any input lag or 
any of that. So some of you guys might be having that issue. Some of you won't. Uh, some people get lucky with it was a Windows update. I think 1906 or something was the name of it. But it was like maybe last year. Works for some people. Doesn't work for some people. It's a pretty known issue. But I guess it's not super known because I didn't know. But anyway, that's kind of why I went back to a single PC setup just for simplicity. Honestly, like if you're streaming and you don't care about edit, like go to PC. And it doesn't have to even be an expensive PC. So, I think that's going to be it. Um, I might I might do a video here pretty soon on the truck. Um, because I bought something for it. And it's pretty, pretty somewhat easy install inside. And just, you know, I'll record it for fun. And then, what else? Oh, I might do another video later talking about the, the heater. I know I kind of left off on that, but... Once I get the heater controls situated, maybe we'll do a video on that just talking about it. But anyway, that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. So, bye, everybody. Also, if you're wondering about this folder on my PC, it's a bait folder. So if you were thinking about typing something, get baited, nerd. Boom. Perfectdame.dxe. Puppy picks. Use code Siri at checkout for uh, some advanced.gg products. <laughs>